Hey there, it's Sid Branzigan here. Just want to welcome you to this video. And today I'm going to be talking about the best spinner. And best spinner is an article rewriting piece of software. It basically allows you to create, you get one article, you can turn it into 10 different articles, 100 different articles, even a thousand different articles. So you can create unique variations of your articles using the best spinner. And the reason why I would say that you invest in some software to do this is it's this software is actually quite easy to use and it's going to save you a lot of faffing about it's going to save you a lot of time as well because you can actually spin an article using the best spinner in about five minutes. So uh, the reason why I create this video is to show you the inside of the best spinner. Perhaps you're looking at some reviews of the best spinner. You might be even looking to buy the best spinner or a, a similar uh, article spinning type of software. So I thought it would be best for me to actually show you the inside of the software uh, before you make a decision. So this is what it looks like after you log in immediately or immediately after you log in. Okay, so I just want to now open up an article I've already written and I'm just going to show you um, basics of how to spin it. I'm going to show you how to spin it manually and how to spin it automatically and I'll get to that in just a second and what I mean there. Okay, so I just want to begin, um, so this is the article here, that's the article and this is the, the, fir the first line, that's the title. All right, I'll explain what these underlined bits are in a second. Okay, so, all right, let's just click on this first. First, okay, so you can you can spin by words and phrases. You can spin by sentences. You can spin by, um, if I click down here, you can, it'll let you spin it by paragraph. Okay, you can spin, um, this is all manual, by the way, you can spin, um, Easy spin lets you actually spin individual words in the sentence. You can spin every word in the sentence. And there's something called nested spin, and that's a bit more advanced. Uh, that's something I don't really tend to use, although you can do yourself if you feel it's relevant. So nested spin basically allows you to spin several levels deep in the article. But if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. You probably won't need to use it much anyway. So, and if you do, there's obviously there's training resource about within the product when you buy it, which will explain each and every feature in a lot more detail. I'm literally just doing an overview of what's in the best spinner. So, that's the pretty much the basics to doing the manual spin. So let's just do a very quick example here. So we can do what kind of, and if we click on one of the suggestions down here we can do what sort of and how much so that actually shows you um, th which words have now been added so what that basically does is add some some syntax code and that basically means that that's basically the, the lines and the squiggles that you can see there okay so once we produce it as an end result that's going to spin between these three words okay and it's the same when you do the sentence and the paragraph and you can all use all these in, in you know in conjunction with each other for example you can spin between the alternate paragraph you might not write two or three paragraphs and alternate between the three but you can spin within the paragraph the spun word or phrase and if that's not making much sense don't worry about it, I'll explain more of it towards the end of the video. Again, this is just a quick overview of what's included in the software and pretty much the basics of how to use it. So, doing a manual spin is probably going to take you about uh, between 15 to 20 minutes for a 500 word article if you want to do manual spilling on a word or sentence level. Now, once you actually become more familiar with the software, it's actually going to take a lot less time. Okay, so. Um, the underlining part, that's basically the best spinner reading your article and making a suggestion as to which words and phrases you should edit to make the article more unique. Okay, so that, that's what the underlining part is. Now the bold part is what we call a protected keyword. And I'm going to show you how to add a protective keyword and what they do. Um, so this is extremely important. So you can put these protected keywords under a category but what the protected term is is basically it's 
a term which is completely untouched when you do your article spinning so this is the term I've put MLM business plan that's the keyword I'm actually targeting in the article so um, you can put anything you want in here um, so any keyword in here is is bolded out you can't spin it and it can't be spun and it's kept the same throughout the article okay so with that all in mind I'm going to show you how to automatically spin that so if we go to up here it says everyone's favorites and what it means by favorites is a favorite favorite keywords which are spun so because um, you can add your own favorite keywords and you can manage them um, that, that's if you're doing the manual spinning um, but basically if you're doing the manual spinning that's more if you're you know you're wanting to do any sort of submission to an article directory where perhaps the submission rules are quite strict maybe the moderators and the people who approve article submissions are strict that would be a good time to do some manual spinning and to actually make the article more unique and that does take a bit more time but um, you know if you want to ensure that your article is is legible and it is completely unique then you might want to do it manually however if you're like me and you do want to also submit it um, to a lot of other websites as well you know a lot of other article directories all at once you know perhaps you're looking to submit to some directories that automatically approve you want to try and do some automatic uh, automatic spinning as well so we're going to click on everyone's favorites what that basically means is um, that's pretty much what the admins put together is um, generally which keywords are going to be spun for you so um, yeah, this is what I'm with the automatic spinning you don't actually have to go in and choose a keyword this part is done for you okay so wanna, I always select quality level as best and I change the maximum synonyms to three and then I just click replace if you just wait just a second okay so that's all now been changed and of course we can see our keyword here MLM business plan is still bolded out so that's still protected so we can still target that keyword and that's been unaffected by the spin okay now at this point we can as you can see the blue parts here that's that's where the article has actually been spun um, you know we can click we can actually click the copy button here and that copies the article with the clipboard that copies everything here so um, you know we can actually go out out there on the market and we can use this spun content okay so if we go to publish here we can also do um, you can also generate you an article there's a button here that allows you to save you know you can generate 10 articles for example from the spun content which are all ready to go and it will save it to your desktop or whatever folder you want on your computer really um, I've got the bolt spin here as well that's actually going to replace an article you've already got if it's a if for example you uploaded an article to the best spinner you can always copy and paste it in there as well but you can actually upload articles to the spinner spin them and then save them to your desktop again you can do that or you can do what I like to call this uh, this is the generate and compare so if we just click generate and that's going to bring it's got 10 articles up here now so what that does is it compares all of the different articles here so and these percentages that's the uniqueness alright so if you're looking to do more of a mass submission so if you're looking to submit to a large number of article directories you know blogging networks web tip on it websites um, you want the uniqueness to be between probably probably about 35 percent upwards a little less is fine but um, the, the basis of this is if you're doing a mass submission you're obviously looking for some links back to your original content and some links back to your original um, your article and everything so um, I wouldn't worry about the uniqueness too much if you're doing a large submission like this so that's pretty much what the automatic spin does and I, I use that the most okay so that's just a very quick overview of the best spinner so we're going to go through 
a few other buttons as well. There are some, it has got some links to some R2 directories as well. You can also change some settings so it posts it to your blog. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, but there's all, um, if you actually purchase the best spinner, then there's actually individual videos for each of these settings which explain how to apply them best to your business. Okay, so you know, we can change colors, there's a thesaurus. Um, in fact, I've missed out this bit here entirely, but if we go through it, you can review the spun article. We can even view it in uh, plain text HTML. And also, this is a very handy one, is uh, we can check if the content already exists. And as you can see, it's been very successful. That is actually this article I uploaded into the best spinner. It already is existing on the internet. And as you can see, the spinner has successfully spun it. Okay, so we've just done a quick check here and we can't find any duplicate content of this on the internet, which means it's going to be good to go. Okay, so hopefully that that gave you a lot of insight into the best spinner and how easy it is to use if you have any questions about the best spinner you know definitely get get in contact with me my blogs at .net, so make sure to reach out on there okay so just to kind of wrap up if you are still serious about the best spinner you know everything really looks good and you know you definitely think you want to purchase it if you honestly believe you're going to be using this on a regular basis to rewrite some articles if you're serious about SEO you're serious about blogging and uh, professionally getting your content out there and getting the exposure that you need to grow your business I would honestly recommend to just buy the best spinner right away there's a 30 day money back guarantee on it you know you can try it out for a little while um, but I would recommend you actually purchase it and use it on a daily basis it's, uh, it's just going to save you so much time. I mean, you could just see there how quickly I could write a unique article. You know, I did it in less than five minutes. So absolutely incredible, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you're serious about SEO, the best spinner looks good for you. You know, if you really want to hit the ground running with it and get the results you deserve, then buy the best spinner today. There should be a link in the description box. There should be a link on this blog post or wherever this video is. It should be in around the video, in around the blog post. So click on that link and purchase the best spinner. Go ahead, use it to best of your advantage to get the top of the search engines. Let me know how you get on. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.